Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Elements of Chinese Astrology. I'm Stay Nitra. Um, you may have heard someone asking you do not go for astrology reading, especially in Chinese society. We would usually heard that uh, do not go for Pazi chart reading because it will bring harmful to your future path. That because it is supposed to be the God's plan that you should not interfere. You should not have a pick on what your future achievement. You're supposed to face the challenge when the time comes. Now, to answer this, actually on astrology reading is a part out of three big categories, which is we refer to Tian in Chinese, Di, and Ren. So Tian direct translation would be the sky or we call it as heaven, which usually what we sharing here, the astrology reading. Or in Chinese we call it as uh Pa Zi chart. And you have all those uh numerologies, metaphysics. And also including this uh, divination. Divination is something that um, we use to focus best on the current situations to guess what is the possible outcome. Then for T, which is uh, direct translate to ground or earth, which actually is referring to the surrounding environment. Or you may have heard people calling it um, feng shui. So what is good feng shui and what is the bad feng shui? You probably may have heard it um, along the way that from the um, those sharing. For a simply uh, for a simple explanation, a good feng shui is some things that the areas that you feel comfortable staying there. Everything is well organized, is clean as compared. You are seeing this. Uh, there are some areas that are very dirty. Everything is messy or even having some um, smelly, that you felt very uncomfortable. Not only applied to our surrounding it is actually also applied to our house so it is very important to keep our house well organized don't just leave everything everywhere now we come to the final one which is run human or we always say the actions of a person then the ability of a person our capability and also our this uh, behavior now all these three are related and we always emphasize that the actions of a person is the most important because even if you have a good um, fortune but without any actions you you will not go any better. You just keep staying on what you are doing right now. Then, as if you are have your this, um, you have your knowledge, you have the capabilities of what you are doing. That when your this uh, fortunes is not there yet, you are still maintain on what you are doing. But when the time comes, when the good fortunes is uh, coming towards you. You have a higher chance to be successful. Then there is also a saying that um, even if you have a good partner charts, you have a good fortunes, you have a good feng shui, but without any actions, you're still not going anywhere else. Well, this may be true for some rare case for those people who have uh, given up on life, but usually that if you are having a good fortunes you are having a positive feng shui all this surrounding will affect our mindset 
it brings at least you have the thoughts of uh, trying to get better so at least if you get two out of three factors you have a higher chance what we call it as to be successful now when we consider all these three items do you think that when we talk about the astrology is the definite uh, destination on our futures our futures achievement definitely not it is only one out of three factors now if anyone is asking you do not go for astrology reading that you can just ask them back what's the reason behind it if just if they just simply tells you that they believe it will bring harmful to your futures we can say them that it is same exactly same as the um, superstitious because it is something that the belief to be true but without any facts to support their statement so that's all for today's sharing please press thumbs up and also share the video if you find it to be useful and also subscribe to the channel so thank you everyone for watching bye